Hi everyone, welcome back to Eco and Crafts. I hope you're well. I've been meaning to make this video for months and months, literally since August, and it's now January, um, and just haven't got around to it. I'm really excited to show you all what, I've, what I have been doing. Um, basically did a Art Deco style upcycle on a set of drawers which previously looked like this. And using basically just different paints, glues and varnishes, have turned it into this. The drawers themselves I think I got for about £5 um, locally um, and a lot of the stuff I use I already have so it turned out to be a really cheap upcycle and I'm really pleased with the effect. So I've got a video today to show you how I made them. Um, I'll show you the bits that I used obviously to create the look that I have here um, but the great thing about upcycling and decoupage in general is obviously you can turn it into whatever you like. So maybe just use the sort of techniques and ideas that I have to create something similar. But obviously, you know, use whatever colours or paper takes your fancy and create something that's unique to you. So um, before I get into kind of how I actually did it, I'll just go through some of the kind of main materials I used. So obviously, apart from the drawers, uh, these are the other things that I had to hand. But most importantly is the paper. This is actually some wrapping paper that I picked up from a local shop. Um, it wasn't cheap wrapping paper, it's got some thickness to it. I think it basically makes a whole piece. So definitely, you know, if the decoupage is gonna be the main feature, get something that you really like. Although I would say that the wallpaper I've used for a previous decoupage, I'll put the link up here, did kind of glue better than this did. I think because this is quite pale, the decoupage and glue, the Mod Podge, did turn it a bit yellow, which I actually don't mind for this because it looks a bit sort of aged. But if, for example, you're going like white with polka dots, it might kind of ruin it somewhat. So experience has told me wallpaper is probably a little bit better than wrapping paper. But, you know, you can always give it a go. Next is the paint that I used for the rest of the drawers. Again, this is just some cheap paint that I picked up from a relatively local DIY store. The colour is Antibes. Um, it is in matte, but upon reflection, I kind of actually wanted it to have a bit of gloss, which is why I then needed some varnish. So I hope you can see with the lights. It's just some satin varnish, again, just some cheap stuff that I had um, lying around the flat already. If you do varnish and you're using light coloured paint, make sure you do a spot test first because some varnishes like this one can turn things yellow, but because I was using quite a dark coloured paint with the blue, it kind of didn't really make any difference. But if you aren't painting lightly, then test the varnish beforehand. Next kind of obviously is the Mod Podge. You need some this or something similar to decoupage um, your paper item. Um, as you can see this is very well loved and a little bit grim now um, but I've used this for all my decoupaging and I love it. I think it's really effective. It's kind of wipe, you can wipe it down, you can stick it in the dishwasher. Finally uh, for the details that I use to kind of emphasize some of the edges of the drawers and give it more of the Art Deco vibe that I was going for. Um, this is some of the Rust Oleum Painters Touch in Antique Gold. Uh, it's a really beautiful colour but it's actually quite thin, so I actually had to use maybe three or four coats of this in the end to get the sort of opaque gold that I wanted. Otherwise, it's just kind of simple, practical things that you might need, such as sandpaper to smooth the surface before you paint it, kind of pencils or rulers to kind of measure out the paper that you need. Obviously, you need paint brushes, um, brushes to do the decoupage with and maybe things to lie down on a surface. I had an old cardboard box to stop your paint slash decoupage and glue getting everywhere you don't want it to. Apart from that, you're pretty much ready to go and we'll get straight into the video. Okay, so these are the drawers originally. They're just pine. You can see they're quite battered, scuffed, a few stains and things everywhere on them. Not very exciting to look at. So to start with, I just painted the main bulk of the drawers. I had this really nice blue color I just find this particular clip really satisfying to look at. After I'd done the blue, then I started um, adding some of the gold detailing. So starting with handles, I just unscrewed them slightly so they're a bit looser and I could kind of get around them properly. As I said in the intro, this gold paint was really quite thin, so I had to do quite a few coats of this. After I'd done the handles, I wanted to add some detailing to the rest of the drawers. So kind of round the edge of the drawers themselves and then also using some masking tape to mark out the areas on the edges that I wanted to paint. 
for the actual decoupage paper I basically just used the drawers themselves to measure out the area that I wanted to cut and then just used a Stanley knife on a hard surface to cut everything out nice and cleanly. And then for the decoupage itself using the Mod Podge as I said before and hopefully these clips will kind of show you how I do it. So initially putting some Mod Podge on behind and then just working in sections from one side of the piece to the other side just very gradually kind of working your way across. Working behind and then going over the top and trying to make sure you don't have too much in the way of bubbles. Any small bubbles will kind of dissipate and it'll look fine when you're done but if there's any huge bubbles it will you will notice it afterwards so if there is any bubbles you have to like pull it up again and lay it back down slowly here you can see i've torn a bit i've had to kind of work back over it with the mod podge i think actually it disguises quite well and this is the final piece so really happy with how it looks uh, i really like the gloss i'm glad i put the varnish on at the end and i just think the gold detailing really sets it off gives it this art deco appearance Anyway, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, any comments, please leave them down um, in the box below. And otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in my next video.